Hi, I am Remy with Softran. In today's video, we'll explore M Replay, our instant replay solution for the Mac. We have packed it with exciting new features, so make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video. So, who might be interested in using M Replay? Basically, anyone looking to do instant replay. So, it can be sport leagues, auto racing, basketballs, boxing. We also have customers that are trainers, high schools, dance instructors, TV stations that want to create highlight reels of the day. The idea is to go quick with a cost-effective, intuitive solution. So in this first video, I will show you the basics and then in the next video, the more advanced features we have added recently. Let's get started by joining a new session, a basketball match in progress here that I have configured already. We are live, as you can see, with four different camera angles. Each one is a source that you can drag and drop from the list on the viewer panel and then swap on the viewer output to a video device, just a Thunderbolt, which is connected to the Mac. So now the game is ongoing and I'm going to create a highlight clip for this moment right here. Let's scroll back to the beginning of the clip, make an in point on the UI or with the keyboard shortcuts. We are still recording right now, not losing any frames. So I'm going to go ahead and mark an out point. I'm using my mouse to do this, but you can also use the Contour Shuttle Pro to do it. And there are also different controllers that some replay supports. The Time Spin Scaroy, GL Cooper Slow-Mo Pro, Elgato Stream Deck. And you can go even further using our REST API or Apple scripts. Everything is explained on our support desk. Now, we have created the clip, which is in our clip browser. I can rename it by double-clicking on the name. Each clip contains all the camera angles within it. You can still make some adjustments if necessary. And as I told you, we are still live right now, so we are going to scroll all the way forward. Everything is recorded so that you can create other clips. Now we will add those clips to the playlists by dragging them. We are now creating a, a highlight reel. There are already videos and ads that you can also use stored on local storage or in your computer. It can be very useful if you want, for example, to use the team logo, an interview with a player and so on. You can reorder the clips, adjust the playback speed by clicking here. You can change the speed of this clip, allowing it to play at a slower pace, loop to play continuously, chain to play the next clip automatically. You can also export the playlist if you want to use it for an editing software. It can be, for example, very useful as a journalist and if you only need the highlight reels of the match. Okay, now we can focus on the output preview, which is set on camera one right now. Here we can switch live for the different cameras and choose the playlist that we have just created. Clips are now playing and the live still ongoing in the background, even while the clip is playing and can adjust the speed live and also the audio. An important feature of MRePay is also its ability to create markers and this will allow us to highlight specific moments during the game. Back in live, I'll use a marker to indicate that a player just scored, REST API, controllers, but here I'm, I'm using the keyboard shortcuts, which is M for marker. You can see it has been added to the list with the exact time in the live session. In the same way as a clip, I can change its name and its value. Now, if I click on the marker, it will take me back in time to that specific moment while the live is still ongoing. Of course, it also works when the session is finished and when you want to review it. So, here are all the basics to get started, but we can go beyond the basic because there is a lot of other features to go through so stay tuned to our youtube channel and don't hesitate to visit our website softron.tv i'll see you in the next video